Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome. Please subscribe to my channel if you like everything makeup. I would appreciate it. Also give this video a thumbs up. If you're not new here then welcome back. So today I'm actually going to be discussing the new release from Revolution. So if you don't know, Revolution came out with a collection of Grace, the iconic Grace. And I, I, I've loved Grace ever since I was a kid, since I was two years of age, literally. Um, so I know a decent amount about the movie because um, I, I watch it all the time. I've watched a ridiculous amount, like, it's ridiculous. But what I want to talk about is I want to discuss the collection itself, whether I think that the collection makes sense regarding the entire, you know, like franchise of Greece. And also I want to discuss my personal thoughts on what I think the reason behind the shades and for Revolution to have chosen those shades because I have seen a few videos about it now on YouTube and everyone that I've watched, um, people have been a wee bit confused on the... Sorry, I had a notification there on the screen. Um, the colour story of some of the eyeshadow palettes that's came out and I just want to discuss on my thoughts on why I think they've chosen these colours and why to me the colours personally make sense. So if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy watching then please stay tuned. Alright, so I have purchased a few of these items. I, honestly, if I had the money, I would have got every single item. Not particularly because I wanted all the items, but because it's I would have preferred to have had like, the entire collection because it's Greece. But I'm really, really low in money right now because I'm a student and I've just went back to college, so I've obviously had to pay for my kit, which is an absolute fortune. And multiple other things. So I'm skint, but I wanted some of the collection at least. So I'm just going to put up on the screen a photo of the entire collection that Revolution has came out with. So it will be up here. Um, I think that the collection does look really beautiful. This, this is my first thought. When I seen it, I thought, oh my god like i need that in my life okay um i was particularly drawn to the grease palette itself and the pink ladies and i really do want the t-words palette as well but i had to sacrifice it because well it was either the highlighting palette or the t-words palette because again i'm skint okay and i'm also meant to be on a makeup no buy <laughs> and i have been sticking to that but I had to make an exception when I seen this collection because there is no way that I'm not having anything from the, the Grease collection and my own personal makeup collection, okay? Like, it, it had to be done. So, the Grease palette alone retails for $19.99. It's honestly, it's so, so beautiful. I really love this crease palette. I will say, I have got a little bit of a pet peeve on the palette. And I'm going to show a reference photo here. Because if you look at the front cover, even of the Grease DVD itself, or the CD that Grease came out with years and years ago, 
it doesn't have black writing. I know that sounds really petty, okay, but I would have preferred it if it was the red car with the white writing because that's more accurate. But I think that is me being very petty on that. But I just feel like I don't know why they had to choose black writing for it. It didn't make sense to me it, because the writing's white on the photo. So that's my little pet peeve. And I know it does sound daft, but I like what I like, okay? And I would have preferred it to have had the white writing. However, I still think that this palette looks absolutely stunning. I feel the shades do make sense. My reasons behind that is obviously you've got a pink shade. I'm going to put a, a photo reference of this palette now on the screen here. So you've got your pink shade at the bottom. That makes sense, you know, pink ladies. Right. The red makes sense. Red lipstick on, you know, Sandy. Rizzo also wore red lipstick in a few scenes actually in Greece. The purples do make sense. Like a lot of people are saying it doesn't make sense. It does. There is a lot of theory behind this, okay, to me. To me. So Another reference photo, okay? I'm going to put up a few reference photos here. So the first reference photo I'm going to show you is Rizzo herself. And if you remember the scene where she sings, there's That's the Worst Thing I Could Do song. So the part I can really explain to you for you knowing what I'm trying to explain. And she's carrying obviously her book. It's a blue book. You look in that episode, that scene of the movie, she's actually wearing a purple shirt. Also, if you look at the part in the movie that has... Sorry guys, I had to actually get the reference photo up on my end myself. However... If you remember at the beginning of the movie itself where they're singing Summer Nights, you know, summer loving happened so fast, you know, um, you would see that Marty is wearing a very dark purple scarf around her neck. So I believe the purple from the Grease palette and also from the T-Birds palette because this is where people are getting really confused on why there is purple in that palette. I believe it comes from that because there is, you know, purple references in the movie. I know, like, I could be jumping the gun here by s discussing it, but that's what I personally feel. I also think when I'm looking at the colour stories as well, Obviously, if you don't know, Grease came out with Grease 2 as well. And that had Michelle Pfeiffer in it, she's beautiful. And if you actually like pay attention, if you've watched, if you've seen Grease 2, I believe the this collection I, I think they've took references from both movies when it comes to basing their colour themes. You know, because in Greece 2, you've obviously got... Uh, I'll put up another reference photo. There's going to be a lot of reference photos in this video, by the way, guys. Um, you do see that Pauline from... Not not Pauline. Colette. Paulette. Is it Paulette? Oh my god, what's her name again? Hey, Paulette. I think it's Paulette. Sorry. Um, you can see that she's wearing a full purple outfit. So I think, I, f I f personally feel they took reference from both movies. I could be wrong though. Most likely it really will just be from Greece, like the original Greece. If, it, if Greece 2 hasn't been, you know, an inspiration to it, I think, you know, the collection works really well for both movies, if I'm honest, because 
the colour theme wise is, you know, it, it makes sense to me. Okay, like I know a lot of people are really confused on the T Birds palette and also the Pink Ladies palette they're really a bit like why are these shades in this? You know, and it, I'm just explaining my thoughts on it on why I think they've came out with these shades. Um the own I think I'm sitting thinking of the neutral tones that they've put into, well, the Grease palette, the Pink Ladies palette, and yeah, the Pink Ladies and the Grease palette. And at, at first, I, I, I did sit and think, why are they putting those in the palette? That don't make sense to me. But now I think about it, it actually does make sense. Um, a lot of their makeup that they wore, especially like eye makeup, was very neutral in its own way throughout the movie. So it makes sense that they've added some neutral tones and it even within the Pink Ladies palette, it does make sense that they've got nudes in it because a lot of the eye makeup was, it was, I don't want to say simple and basic, but their makeup for their eyes were quite simple and basic, you know, like, there, there's nothing really, like, standing out to me anyway with their makeup. Except from, obviously, Sandy at the end, but we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so I ordered the Grease palette, I'm happy with that, it's beautiful. Um, again, the only thing I think they could really change is give it white writing, but that's me just being picky. So next we've got this five piece brush set. Now this retails for £14.99. It's of course a five piece brush set. I didn't order this, I personally think it is actually a waste of money. They look so cheap. It looks to me like brushes that you would get for free with an eyeshadow palette or cheap brushes that you would get from a cheap advent calendar. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry to everybody that loves, like, Grace. Because I love Grace as well. You know, I'm a big fan. And I want to be... <laughs> completely 100% positive on this collection because I love Grace but I'm going to be realistic and tell you that I, I think the brushes look so cheap and nasty and I'm not saying that you know cheap brushes always means garbage. I do have used cheap brushes before I've bought cheap brushes. I'm not, I'm not a snob when it comes to brushes but I just don't I don't like the brushes. The pink handles and the fact that they're pink I like because you know pink ladies you know I, I think colour wise they make sense quality wise though I just don't think they're worth 14 99 like I think they look so cheap um, and the video that I watched and I will link the video that I watched down below um, she used the video like the Brushes and honestly, they just look so flimsy. They looked just, I'm sorry, but just cheap garbage. I'm sorry, Revolution, but it's a truth. I think if you bought that, it would just, it, it's a total waste of money. I wouldn't pay for that. Sorry. Next, we have the Shape Up Sandy Transformation set. This retails for £11.99. And this actually comes with a felt tip eyeliner, an ultra black mascara, and a red lip gloss. Okay, I've got some thoughts on this. The felt tip eyeliner makes sense, you know, at the end, Sandy, where it does have a little eyeliner, bit of eyeliner above the upper lash line, makes sense for them to have included an eyeliner in this collection. Ultra black mascara, you can't go wrong with a mascara, can you? So, I mean, yes. And it, 
I'll talk about the packaging wise though in a minute when it comes to the packaging. Red lip gloss though, I don't make that don't make sense to me. I'm sorry. I, I mean I know Sandy wears a red tone lipstick. None of them wore a red lip gloss. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. I don't like the lip gloss situation. It doesn't make personal sense to me, so packaging wise uh, I like it enough. I mean, it's basic packaging with the Grease logo on it, basically. So, um, make of that, if you will. <laughs> but, mm, I do think the set is worth eleven ninety nine. I think it is a good deal of a price, if I'm honest. And if I had the money, I probably would have bought that set. Um... I would never have used the lip gloss though because to me it just doesn't make sense. But that is my personal opinion. Please do not be giving me hate in the comments for this video guys because this is my opinion and I'm entitled to it. Okay, I'm just giving you insight on what I think with this collection. It's my personal opinion. So, again, I like the mascara. I think that eyeliner makes sense. Lip gloss to me just doesn't make remotely any sense. None of them wear a red lip gloss. They wear a red lipstick, but not a gloss, okay? But I'm probably just reading too much into that again, because I'm a wee bit too specific, and I know that, but it's because I am a Grease diehard fan, man. I mean, I love Grease. Next, we've got three lipsticks from this collection. They all retail for £4.89, which I think is a bargain. That is a good price for a lipstick, I feel. Um. Let's talk about the shades. So, of course, you've got the Rizzle shade, which is a striking red, as they explain it. <laughs> they, they, they have... Revolution has detailed it as a striking red lipstick. Um, then they've got a Sandy lipstick, which is a classic nude. And then we've got a Frenchy lipstick, which is a gorgeous pink. Again, th these words are from Revolution. They're not me calling them like striking red or that. Okay, I'm going to show you some reference photos of Rizzo now. <laughs> Alright, so lipstick wise, I think it's Spawn with this colour actually. Um, it's a pinkish red tone if you ask me. It's a red, it is a red but it's got that pink undertone to it, which really does make sense. And the reason it makes sense is because Rizzo does wear a li red lipstick throughout the movie. Not in every scene, obviously, but in a few scenes, you know, the the dance that they go to, you know, at the, like, near the end, you know, the end of the movie she's wearing a red. She does wear red lipstick in a few scenes and if you actually look closely, which I'm going to put up the reference photos here, she's actually, her, her red tone lipstick that she's wearing has actually got a pinkish undertone to it. It isn't like a true red, it's a pinkish red tone. It is a red but it's got a lot of pink more to it than it is like a true, true red. So I like the fact that that lipstick shade is accurate. I think the Frenchy lipstick, again, I feel like it does make sense be because obviously Frenchy did go through that s stage with the pink hair and she does wear a pink lipstick. So I think that lipstick shade really does make sense. It does. And again, I feel like the classic nude for Sandy does make sense because not for the end of the movie, but throughout the movie, you know, she's wear like you can see she is wearing something on her lips. You know, her lips aren't like completely bare. Um, it's a nice nude sort of pink. So I feel like that shade does make a lot of sense. Looking at the reference photo though, I think it might be a bit too pink compared to what Sandy wore. Um, but overall I think 
the lipsticks do make sense. I do sort of wish though that they'd made the sandy lipstick, um, Sandy's orange toned red because I think that would have worked better. I, they added the red lip gloss. Let's go back to this transformation set actually. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking actually that red lip gloss is making sense in a way doesn't make sense that it's a lip gloss because she doesn't wear lip gloss, it was a lipstick. It's making sense the fact that they've added to that red lip gloss for that transformation Sandy set. Because at the end, of course, Sandy transforms into this beautiful goddess of a woman with red lips. So yeah, it makes sense in that. It makes sense like that, but it doesn't make sense it's a lip gloss because it wasn't a lip gloss that she wore. I think it would have been better if she added, if they added the lipstick instead. Or they could have just had the lipstick from this part, you know, and added that to be an orange red and just had the transformation set being just like a felt eyeliner and an ultra black mascara. I, I think the red lipstick, lip gloss really was, it's ugh, unnecessary. Um... That's how I feel anyway. Again, the packaging for the lipsticks. I, I do like the packaging. You know, it, it's definitely giving Pink Ladies vibes. It's got the Grease logo on it. Yeah, overall, I think the lipsticks are beautiful. I didn't buy the lips, any of the lipsticks because I've got so many lipsticks that I didn't see the point in buying them. It's, it would have been a waste of money for me. Um, Then... We've got the blushes. It's cream blushes and they retail for £4.99 just like the lipsticks. So you have the Rizzle blush which is a bold fuchsia and a sandy blush which is a rosy mauve. And I feel like these shades make a lot of sense again for the characters. I love the fact that you know, the Rizzle shade really does make sense. You know, she's got that beautiful, you know, not red, but not pink cheeks in the video. The video, the movie. Um, so I feel like it's a perfect blush that you could imagine Rizzle wearing. And again, I really love the shades that they used for the cream blush for Sandy. I think that it makes a lot of sense throughout the entire movie, even for her transformation at the end. I think it just makes a lot of sense on the shades that they've chosen for these characters. So well done on that revolution. Uh, packaging wise, I think it's a little bit boring. I think it's a little bit cheap looking. Just a bit basic, if you ask me. It's like they've just got like the cheapest packaging and slapped the grease logo on it. It's the packaging itself to me just isn't that exciting. This I don't like the bows on the sandy blush palette. If I'm honest, but I do, I do understand why they've added them on to her palette. I just don't like them. <laughs> That's my personal opinion on that. Um, highlighter palette they've came out with, which is the Hopelessly Devoted. Hopelessly Devoted to you. Love that song. Anyway, um, yeah, they came out with a highlighter palette. Retail is for seven ninety nine. I did buy this palette because I could not get the highlight. Our palette it was gorgeous. Um, it's got beautiful shades, let me just tell you that. Uh, it's got, like, a very light baby pink. Then it's got a medium pink, dark pink, and a peach toned highlighter in it. Would I say that these shades are going to work for everybody? No, it, they're not going to work for everybody. I don't even know if they'll even really work for me. I might end up having to use all shades as a blush topper, if I'm honest, because I think they might be a bit too pink for me. I'm not too sure. I'll obviously see when I get them, when I get it, when it arrives. Um, they're beautiful shades, I just don't think they would work for 
a lot of people, if I'm honest, I think they'll end up be, being used as a blush topper rather than a highlighter, which that is fine. That actually really doesn't bother me, to be honest, because I like a shimmery blush. So it suits me. Um, but if you don't like a shimmery blush, definitely think about whether it, you think it might work for your skin tone because, you know, well, you're not daft. You, you take that into consideration when you're buying it anyway. But, you know what I mean? Take that into consideration when you're buying it, basically. Packaging-wise, again, just looks like cheap plastic packaging. I'm not that bothered about the packaging if I'm completely honest. Again, don't like the bows that's on it, but again, understand why they've added them. I just don't personally like them. Um, but yeah, um, I don't think that the packaging looks all that exciting. I think it could have been better. Uh, what next? I will say as well, actually, when I seen this, they were coming out of this collection, I will say I really wish they had came out with maybe, like, a palette with Sandy and Danny on it. I wish they would have done that, but I, I know maybe they didn't have the rights to do that or whatnot, but oh, that would have been amazing. Anyway, that's not a big deal, though, but I, I just wish that they'd came out with that. Um, then you have a makeup sponge set which retails for £7.99. You get three makeup sponges. So you're getting an egg shaped <laughs> sponge. Egg shaped sponge which is good for buffing products into the skin. Then you're getting a rectangle. Rect I was about to call, call it rectal. <laughs> Rectangle sponge. The, um, uh, they say on their website that it's good for carving out, like you know, cheekbones and all that. I personally like that. The I'll talk to you in a second about that sponge. Um, and then you're getting a flat cut oval sponge, which is great for under eye setting. Let's go back to this rectangle sponge though. <laughs> because I think everybody knows what... But, but, <laughs> I cannot speak today. Sponges I'm talking about here. You get white sponges that's similar. I wouldn't even call it a beauty blender if I'm honest. Because it's literally garbage, those sort of sponges. Like, they're good for special effects. Makeup artists do use them. Uh, well, they use them for special effects, basically. We, as makeup artists, we don't use them on clients or absolute garbage, unless you're doing special effects on them on Sunday. Um, yeah, I mean, each their your own if you like those sort of sponges, but... Um, yeah, I don't think that was needed. I think they could just get rid of that rectangle one and just have it being the egg shaped and the flat cut oval because they didn't need to include the rectangle sponge. Like seven ninety nine for the, those two for sponges alone, that's a good deal. So like that other that third one, that was just totally unneeded. It, it's I don't know what was going through their wee brains when they decided to add that on to the collection but <laughs> those are garbage and personally if I bought the sponge collection which I didn't because it it's a sponge it's got the grease logo on it I'm sorry but it would just get stained anyway um I would have bent that rectangle and that wouldn't even be getting kept in my collection if I'd bought the thing it would just be like see you later in the bin don't care if you feel soft you're you're going bye bye you know, then of course they came out with the two other eyeshadow palettes, which is the T Birds palette and the Pink Ladies palette. I ordered the Pink Ladies palette, didn't on the T Birds, and I'm gutted. I wish I'd ordered the T Birds palette now, just purely so that I could have the Pink Ladies and the T Birds. But you know, I didn't, so I just need to love for myself on that one. Um, again. The Pink Ladies, the packaging, I do love the packaging, makes a lot of sense, you know, 
I love the fact it's in the shape of their jacket. Love it. Um, I can understand the reason of a YouTuber that I watched when she said that she wishes it had a bit more pink shades in it. I do understand that because I've only got like one pink, one shimmer pink and a sort of reddish tone in it. I can understand why you would want some more pinks but the neutral tones in this palette does make a lot of sense because again a lot of their makeup in the movie wasn't colourful really like they weren't sitting with pink eyeshadow on you know yeah they were wearing a pink lady jacket I guess what you could say is well it's based around the pink lady's jacket so yeah, she could have, should have more pink. But I think they've probably been basing it around that and the, the makeup itself and what the pink ladies wear. And they don't wear anything extravagant on their eyes. So I think it does make sense, my personal opinion. And then, of course, you've got the T-Birds palette, which, again, the purple makes sense for the purple shirt that Rizzo wears. Um, the black, the blackish grey tone in the palette makes sense for Sandy at the end because she's wearing um a sort of a light greyish black smoky eye it's beautiful Ugh, love it so yeah I think this makes a lot of sense as well this palette and again it's T-Birds jackets it's gorgeous um I just I love it I love it And yeah, I do love the collection and I'm buzzing for the Grease palette, my Pink Ladies palette and my Highlight palette to arrive um, because I'm excited, okay? It was meant to arrive today but pff, it isn't looking like it now. I mean, I'd got a notification yesterday saying it was going to arrive today and well, where is it then? Where is it, Revolution? Because it didn't arrive. I'm gutted because I wanted to do a video today trying the products out, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, yeah, that is my thoughts on this collection. Um, let me know down below what you think. Do you think that... Revolutions literally just chosen colours and just sort of thrown them in the palettes and not even really gave it much of a thought. Or do you think that what I'm saying makes sense on the colour theory? Because I feel that the colours do make a lot of sense, basing it around outfit choices that all of them wore, makeup that they wore, even like things in the movie itself could have been ref um been an inspiration for the shades. I, I honestly I think the whole collection itself does make a lot of sense. It just needs a few things out of the collection. It doesn't need that triangle rectangle sponge. It doesn't need the lip gloss. <laughs> Those brushes are <laughs> well, they're there. You know, so, honestly, some of it is unneeded, but a lot of it does make a lot of sense, and a lot of it um, is really handy. If you can afford the entire collection, I wouldn't worry about it. If I'm honest, like I guarantee you've got blush shades that at home that would actually be very similar to the shades that they've came out with. Um, again, lipstick wise, most people have a lot of lipsticks, so I guarantee you've got a lipstick similar shades at home. And again, if you can't even afford any of this stuff, does it really matter? Because I guarantee most people at home will have similar shades of the, like what's in these palettes, in a palette at home anyway. So. I don't necessarily think somebody would be missing out if they didn't buy the, anything from the collection. But if you are a Grease fan like myself, 
Oh yes, you would you would definitely want some of that in your collection, can't some in his crease for good crease sake. Now all they need to do is come out my Dark Dancing collection and I'll be like buzzing. I'll be happy. I would die for them to come out with a Dark Dancing collection. Don't see it happening though, but Never say never because I didn't think they'd ever come out with a grease one, so Oh it would be amazing though if they would come out with a Dirty Dancing collection. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the collection. I really hope that you liked this video. Please do not be giving me hate comments on any of the opinions that I have said in this video because I'm entitled to my own opinion and it is literally just an opinion. Um, I'm not sitting turning around saying that I'm correct in anything that I'm saying. You know, so if you think I'm in the wrong for saying it or you think I'm wrong in general, you know, that's fine. Like, we all have we're different in opinions to everything in life so we can agree to disagree basically but it's just my personal opinion on what I think of the collection itself overall I do like the collection I think it's a, it's really good but some things really just can go out the window because some of it's garbage by the looks of it anyway <laughs> Some of it doesn't make sense, some of it, a lot of it doesn't make sense, so. Um, but yeah, do not be leaving me hate comments, I wouldn't even reply back to it anyway, but still. Don't leave me hate comments because we are entitled to our own opinions. I'll respect your opinion, of course. I'm not saying that you can't sit commenting your opinion down below on what I'm saying or on the collection itself. I'm just saying, let's not turn it into a an argument online um but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you love everything makeup because once that stuff arrives it's going to be on my channel um yeah and i will see you in my next video guys bye just smacked myself in the face bye